Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. See me here at Sammy J Stitches. It is Wednesday, February 13th. It is the eve of Valentine's Day. So, um, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, but, you know. Um, I positioned a different way, hoping I can make this light work in my favor, and so far it seems to be okay. But this means y'all will see um, any incoming traffic, so let me know, okay, if... If I need to go sign in a truck, because they'll they'll come, you'll be able to see them kind of where that light is. That's a flare, but that's the direction they come from. Um, if they're incoming, if they're outgoing, they come past these other windows. Anyway, okay, so today was a good mail day, sort of. Yet, mm, <laughs> I had a lot of stuff in my mailbox today, um, and we're going to go through all that. The first thing is, I got a new phone the other day, and I think I told y'all this. Well, my um, case came in the mail today, and it's gorgeous. It's super cute. I love it. Um, it opens up. It's a wallet. Um, but this is the new iPhone XR. Not new, but, you know, new to me. And uh, it, it has the wireless charging where you just, like, lay your phone on the base. Or My base actually sits up, which is really nice because then I can have it sitting up and watching floss tube on it. Um, it doesn't charge through this. So, as much as I absolutely adore this case, I mean, if I open it like this and set it like that, it'll charge. That's kind of a bummer, right? So I've ordered another case. Um, we'll see if I end up switching out or what I do. We'll see. I also bought a new charger too because um, the new one will also charge my Apple Watch. That's one of the reasons I barely ever use my Apple Watch is because I keep forgetting to charge it. And then I forget to bring the charger to work with me. And it's just, it's a mess. So this, this base will do both. I'll, I'll be able to, and it'll kind of hang there so I can still like see the time and stuff when I'm having to charge it. Um, so that was nice, but kind of a bummer at the same time. The other thing is I finally finally got my January fabric of the month from Crazy Annie's. It's a picture of this plus. Now, I'm not, I don't mean finally is in like anything bad. It was the first month, um, first month of the year. She had over 200 brand new people to get into her system and to, into the shipping system. And then of course we've had the polar void vortex that uh, killed mailing for a few days. So, I mean, the process is natural and it won't take that long in the future. Um, I'm just, I was excited because I've been with Leslie for a year and a half um, and a few months even before that, and then I took a break, and then I came back. Um, and she's the only fabric of the month I've ever been in. So I was anxious. I was excited to try something new, um, but I can't get rid of Leslie because she has all the stuff I love. So my January shipment is 32 Count Lugana in Barnwood. Now it looks a little more... See where I'm talking about trying to get that light to help me, not hurt me? Um, it looks a little more brown here, uh, slightly purple in person. Um, and it's a little stiffer than I remember Lugana Bean, but whatever. It's cool. I really love it. I love the color. I love the modeling. Um, I have a project in mind for it. But I'm going to have to do a floss toss before I decide for sure. And I don't have that here with me. Don't think, no. Um, but I'm off the next few days and all that stuff's at home. So maybe y'all can floss toss with me. And, or I'll, I don't know. We'll see. I have some thoughts. So there's that. I also got in my Victorian Motto threads. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm not done. Because I signed up for Picture This Plus through, see now I see things and I'm like, oh, um, <laughs> through Crazy Annie's, or through Just Keep Stitching, Pam and Steph, um, anybody that signed up for Crazy Annie's through them got an additional um, gift in January. 
and I don't know why I just kind of assumed it would be fabric because it's a fabric of the month club but it's not and that's actually really exciting too so um, I haven't even opened this but so first uh, she sent us some color and cotton it says a gift for you so it doesn't even have a name it's um, yeah, see this, this lighting isn't any better, I don't think. Some light purple, light pink. Um, like, a, yeah. So, they also sent a, um, fabric gauge. I mean, I'm excited to play with this a little bit because I, I keep thinking I want to order one. And then I'm like, well, you don't really need one, but I want one, so now I've got one. They also sent a free pattern, which, okay, so it's it's free, it can be reprinted, whatever. So it's a little bunny says spring fling, it's by Val Stuff. Um, it says this design may be re reproduced for use as a handout or for classes, it may not be kitted or sold, so I can show y'all. Not that you can really, I mean, if you can screenshot that and use it. More power to you. And then a cross stitcher word search, a fun free gift from stitchingthenightaway.com. So it's got like Ada, beads, even weave, things like that. Pretty neat. So that was my bonus gift for signing up through Summit and stuff. The Fabric of the Month Club is full. So. I don't know that that's something anybody else can do. I don't know. I know that their floss of the month, which is the color in cotton that I showed y'all the other day, um, it's still open. You can still sign up for it. Okay, now I also got my Victorian mono threads. These uh, got lost for a day or two. But they finally made it to me. And they are gorgeous. I mean, do you expect anything else, really? So there's them all together. I really, I'm really impressed with this light pink. I don't know why. It almost looks white. In fact, it looks pretty white in the camera. And it almost looks white in person, but it's very light pink. It's called Lovebird. If it had a, this is a DNC conversion, it doesn't say. <laughs> Um, then we've got early greens. This is, I was working with this color the other day, like 154. No, not 154. That's purple. 165 maybe? I don't know. It's kind of a brighter green. Then I got passion pink. It says this is 893. I gotta be back here because getting too close. Whoop. Is like overkill with the light. That might be. Eight ninety three. Okay, and then uh, new sweet potato. It's like seven twenty. There might be no. It's pretty much solid color. Um, glorious red. This is really pretty. Eight sixteen. I'm using 816 a lot right now in Mini Phantom of the Masquerade. And Mountain Laurel 581. I was actually using 581 last night on uh, Forever and Ever. No, not Forever and Ever. I don't know. I was using it though last night. I don't know. Before. Anyways. So I split these with Miss EJ of the Sunshine Stitchers. So I will do that tomorrow and get those shipped off to her um, she got she got a very pretty selection too so when they come in um, I'll show you those though you could just go watch the sunshine stitchers because they're worth it they're worth watching okay and I haven't even opened this one yet this is my songbird um, song That's the next installment of the Songbird Collection by Country, Co Country Garden Samplings. Ooh, can't talk tonight. 
this is have courage now when i saw this little when they give the sneak peek they just showed the house and i i messaged just more i'm like oh my goodness that house is too freaking adorable i love the little like heart right here in the that's neat so that's really pretty um i'm not any good at flowers or birds so oh rose breasted grosbeak and gladiolus so that's really pretty add it to my collection because i mean i would y'all see, see where i'm at on forever and ever and i've had it going for six months now so um it'll take me a while to get through all of them because they're they're pretty significant they're 159 by 159 so they're not small um so that was my mail today i'm so excited i like getting stuff in the mail um okay so tonight mini phantom of the masquerade first and foremost um i'm finishing up the 500 stitches i need for at our house which is february's extra credit um a project with words and um then that will finish all my extra credit except i need to watch chamber of secrets uh Maybe I'll get to do that with the kids this weekend. They did not wait for me. And like, they've already watched most of the series again. Uh, but I'll make them watch it again with me. I did I did find out that our, um, our copy of Deathly Hollows is messed up. So I have to get that one again. But I have all the others. Uh, I still need to start listening to them. I haven't started that yet. Uh, I only have, I think, two or three more videos in my watch later list, so I may go ahead and knock those out real quick, um, and maybe get a chapter or two in tonight. We'll see. Um, oh, also, for my homework, I needed something with a ghost, and I didn't know if I had any. I, I looked through all my whips. Well, I got to thinking, and so I went and looked up the finished, um, product of Legendary Creatures by Legendary Creatures Alphabet by Clouds Factory. And at first I was like, okay, there's nothing on here. And then I saw E. And the E on it the E on there looks kinda like a genie. But genie would be G. So um, on it on it it's called an elemental. It's E for elemental. And when I looked up elemental, I found out that some ghosts are called elementals and so I'm going to use it for my ghost and I'm go I screenshotted that article and I'm going to post it with my um with my post to back me up <laughs> to make sure that they know that this is why I claimed it for ghost um so I feel like I had something else. Oh, oh, oh. Then I need to pull out Pretty Little London because it needs a thousand stitches on my favorite whip before the end of the week. So, and it's Wednesday. And tomorrow's Valentine's. And Friday is my son's birthday. And so, <laughs> it's probably best to get a start on all of that. So, in the randomness case that I finish all of that tonight I will be completely caught up on um, homework stitcher games um, oh I haven't even looked at bingo yet tonight y'all that's bad okay I will go check bingo numbers and then shake back in with y'all but I'll be start I'll be caught up on stitcher games and homework and extra credit for the month so I'll be able to just spin That is that. And um, I guess I'll, I'll be I'll be right back with bingo. The quickest check in ever. Uh, no bingo numbers again, or no bingo numbers tonight, or whatever. This one was a special one. If I had had 807, I would have been able to do 25 stitches instead of 50, and then pass my other 25 to someone else. Wish I had been able to do that. That would have been fun. Um, yeah. 
my cards are not the greatest card. Like, I'm close to a bingo, but I just, so many of these numbers aren't any of my cards. So, eh, it is what it is. I'm going to go get stitching. I'll check back with y'all later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so, I didn't do any checking in last night. What? What the heck? But it's 4.30 now. I'm so tired. Okay. <laughs> um... I need to start packing up, so let's do this. Okay. First, Minnie the F Phantom of the Masquerade. Finished up this block. Did the part threads in this one, which almost finished the block. Like, <clears throat> there's, it looks like three spots that are confetti colored, and all the rest are seven, and I just ran, or the symbol is seven. I just ran out, so. Fill that in and we'll be done with that block and moving on to the next one. Uh, I should have plenty of time to do that tonight. Okay, and then um, next I worked on At Our House by Lizzie Kate. Um, I told you I was working on this one for the 500 stitches uh, on a project with words. So... That is where I got to on that. So close and yet so far. I just, oh, that being so close to the bottom makes me nervous, but it's okay. I got this. I got this. And see all this space up top. I just measured wrong. Or I didn't really measure wrong. I probably just threw a couple stitches in there. Look, this side is just fine. It's going to be just fine. It's just. See if you can see them next to each other. You see the difference? How much further down it is on this side than this side? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So I am done with February extra credit except for watching Harry Potter, which I may do tonight. Um, then I told you I was going to work on legendary creatures at, for my ghost because um, it has an elemental in it. Uh, I got Bigfoot done. Bigfoot is completely finished and started on whatever this thing is. It looks like a monkey with a fire tail. I don't know. So, that's where I got on that one. I haven't taken out the Q-snap yet. I'll do that here in a minute. And then, I started working on Pretty Little London for my thousand stitches on my favorite whip. So, that's where this one is at. I'm mostly working to finish up the um, London Eye. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've done tonight. It's been a slow night. It took me a long time to get started, and then I'm just kind of eh here and there. Um, so, yeah. What am I doing? That one needs to stay on. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to work on it some more, too. Because I'm only at 141 stitches out of the thousand. It's going to be a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, um, that is where I'm at. It is Valentine's. Happy Valentine's, everybody. Um, my husband was... <laughs> Someone asked my husband out before I could or before he could ask me. Therefore, I am not going out with my husband tonight. And that somebody would be our daughter. So they're going to have a night, just the two of them, um, to which I am providing the cooking for. Like, I'm totally getting... <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. I still get him after she goes to bed. It's all good. So, and then we're going to a trampoline park tomorrow for my son's birthday. Um, I'll be bringing stitching. Thank you very much. I have no reason to jump on a trampoline. Nobody wants to see that. I don't even think I want to feel that. I'm just thinking of my shoulder. So, anyways, I'm very tired this morning, y'all. So, my con my conversationness is not working. So I'm going to turn it off, and I will check back in with y'all later.
evening everybody and welcome back to another episode in my laundry room where I'm folding laundry while doing the video because you can't ever just do one thing, right? Um, hello again, it is still um, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to everybody. That, my Valentine brought me bingo numbers. Not really. Um, I got lots tonight though. Look, one, two, three... Four. Valentine's brought me a lot of numbers. So I'm fixing to, I've got a twitch. Sit down and do that. Um, I also got chocolates because I'm told I'm a happier, nicer person when I have had a little chocolate. Uh, it's a running joke between my husband and I. Um, back before I had Ryan, I was seeing a personal trainer twice a week and I had started to lose a lot of weight. And my husband started bringing home Twix bars. And told me because they make me a happier, nicer person. And uh, it was really just his self-conscious way of telling me that I was losing a little too much weight. So, um, yeah. Uh, we had a great, oh, okay. maybe not great. We had a very, very good Valentine's Day. Um, I had to take the kids to, the, to their one-year check or their annual checkups. Uh, and Lexi unfortunately needed three vaccines. Well, two, I I opted for the third one. Um, and so by the time it was time to do anything tonight, she wasn't feeling all that great. But luckily we had a pretty chill night planned. Um, we stayed home. She rented a movie um, with her dad and I made jalapeno popper burgers, um, which are her favorite. And we enjoyed the in the movie. Uh, she, my daughter's kind of an odd cookie. Like, she likes the popular stuff. She's very in in school. But yet she likes the, you know, the good stuff. Um, so the movie she chose was Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, and she loved it. Watched every second. Even, <laughs> there was even one point where she was like, cracking up laughing because the guy said that Bohemian Rhapsody would never be a popular song. And she was like, ha ha ha. So, um, and the jalapeno popper burger. So we dice up a jalapeno and we take a thing of cream cheese and some cheddar cheese and we mix it all together. And I actually, I even cook some bacon and cut up the bacon and put in there. And then you make a super flat patty and kind of push in the middle a little more even. And then um, you make two patties like that. And then you put the put a ball of the cream cheese mixture in the middle. And then put, you know, tuck it around, close it. I cook it in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes or so. Um, it's amazing. Not spicy as long as you know you take the seeds out of the jalapenos. My kids love it. So, um... That was my Valentine's. Gonna get to doing bingo here in just a few minutes. And what was that? Oh. And yeah, just relax for the rest of the night. Tomorrow is Ryan's birthday. Um, really excited. One of his friends is gonna get to go to his party. We're gonna go jump on some trampolines. Um, I'll take some stitching and uh, just you know, enjoy the night. So uh, I'm going to finish this up, get to stitching, and I will check back in with y'all later. No promises because you know I didn't do well, well last week, but I will try to remember to check in after I've done my stitching. See y'all soon. Evening, everyone. It is uh, Sunday, February 17th. Um, and not only am I a liar, liar, pants on fire, but last week, like, where'd it go? The end of last week was, it, it was just too much. It was too much. So, you know, sometimes you have to choose between the things and um, stitching and floss tube went. So, um, I, so since I last talked to you, I only did bingo stitches on foxglove. I was like, okay, well, I'll get around to the rest before the birthday party tomorrow. Then I slept up until we left for the birthday party. So that didn't happen. 
Um, then we, my husband and I by ourselves took eight kids to a um, trampoline park. So there was madness and chaos. Like we were going, 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 going. And then by the time we got home, my husband wasn't feeling good. He wasn't, he was sick all day yesterday. Um, so I did a lot of cleaning, but I did some stitching, um, but not a lot. And so I've decided I'm done with bingo. Uh, because at this point I'm like two or three days behind on my stitches. So, and it's 50 stitches a day. Plus all the bingos have been claimed already. It's just like specialty ones now, like four corners, block of nine, big plus or blackout. Um, and so I've lost and, and, and being behind, um, I think I could manage it, except one of the colors, I literally don't have enough stitches in that color to catch up. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm out. And that's one of the things, right? So you, everyone has to understand their own limitations. And this was mine. I enjoy bingo. I enjoy having to pull out five different projects in a night and put 50 stitches in each. But when it becomes too much for me or I get too far behind to feel like I catch up, it's okay to just say, I've got other things to focus my time and energies on. So bingo is done. Um, I will join again when they do it. I want to say it's July that they have it scheduled to, to go again. Um, it's, it's, it's worth doing. But then once, you know, I don't have a hope of getting a bingo before anybody else I'm I'm okay I'm done it's fine I don't I'm not it's not like I'm upset or oh damn I lost no it's simply that um I got myself behind because it was a crazy week and so I let it go I still got to do my thousand stitches on I mean okay now I'm so behind that I didn't even do my Daily stitches on Mini Phantom of the Masquerade, which is okay because I'm not officially part of the um, challenge, but you know I was still challenging me. Hold on, but you know work stuff. Um, so it, I'm challenging me, right? So, um, yes, I didn't get these last three days done, but I'm I'm not stopping. I'm going to continue to work on it every night when I get here. Um. So, um, I'm still doing that. I've still got to put in my thousand stitches on Pretty Little London, um, for District 3. Again, if I don't, it's no big deal because I've already, uh, nailed down District 2, but, you know, it's a good challenge for me to get, um, something done. And then... Uh, School of Magical Stitches homework should come out at midnight tonight, so I got that too. I don't know what that is yet, but I've got that too. And yesterday was Saturday, so I need to spend whip go. Because I didn't yesterday, it got away from me, but I'm not... That's fine, that's fine, we're just going to do it today. I'm telling you, this week, I, like, literally, excuse me. I was, I got into work and I was, um, sitting here listening to Stitching May, um, do her latest floss two video and she started talking about homework and I was like, oh crap, it's Tuesday, homework came out a couple days ago and I haven't done it or I haven't even looked at it yet. It's Sunday, it comes out tonight, like I was all kinds of off, wow, the lighting, okay. So, I'm not used to having three days off every week like I have the last couple weeks. I'm not used to having weekends off. So, I get here and I'm all kinds of flustered and confused. All right. Let's get this open. If I spin something I've already spun, I will spin again. Okay. Let's start with whip go. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? 
Oh. Okay. Now that's the columns. So we're in O. And then we will spin this. So I'm going to show you my whip go forward while this spins. Sorry. We're in the O's and the one, two, two. So that's going to be down. Looks like pretty little London. Oh, that's funny. But my whip go on pretty little London is um, to finish it. So that's not going to happen this week. But it does mean I'll be working on it a little bit every day. And look up the Irish is going to go back up. Um, here's where I got, I mean, I got really close. I got quite a bit done, but I only worked on it those four days, um, cause I didn't work on it any at all at home. I, I was hoping to take it with me. I did take it with me to the trampoline park, but it was so crazy that I didn't get around to working on it. So, um, so you see, of course, this is going to be back stitching that I have to fill in there. Um, got the little left on the brim of the hat and then the words and then back stitching so um the next time it comes up it should get finished if it gets any real time because literally i was working on it what 20 30 minutes um at the end of each shift so i need to find my pencil so i can mark pretty little london as having been spun so that when i do finish it i can mark the chart completely um, so there's that. So I work on Pretty Little London, um, and then after I get those thousand stitches in, then it will just be what I pull out each morning, um, at the end of the morning. I only have four days this week too, so I don't, I don't suspect the end of this week will be as crazy. See, part of what my problem was, it's been busy mostly busy since Christmas right so there was Christmas and then New Year's and then London and then since we've been back I really hadn't caught up um, at home <laughs> up here so and I wasn't doing myself any favors because like I said my husband rearranged our theater room what well, we we call it our theater room um, it's a living room basically but um, rearrange it so that I have a craft area in it so that I could be sitting there while he's playing a game or watching a movie, I could be sitting there stitching or whatever else you do in a stitchy corner. Um, and because of that, and because it's got such a homey feel and that's where everybody wants to be. Even my kids are in there most of the time and all the animals. And so I, I know I've showed pictures on Instagram where we're just all piled in there watching a movie or something. So it, that has been so amazing that I've been kind of enjoying it. So I haven't been getting as much cleaning done as I should have been doing. And, uh, so I changed that this week. I, I could have went and sat down and stitched. I could have relaxed, but I really felt like I needed to get on top of the cleaning and I'm almost completely there. Um, I think with the couple, with the hour before work that I, of work that I do each day, um, I should be able to catch up and then it's just keeping up with it and that'll be a lot easier. So, um, I'll have more time to sit down and relax at home. Um, we're almost there. Uh, Ryan goes to the doctor, uh, the neurosurgeon next week. So I got a little more chaos ahead. I also need to get them both eye doctor's appointments starting to wonder if I should get Ryan a dentist appointment because he's complaining of jaw pain and since you know he had a tumor removed from that thing we like to keep an eye on it when he complains um and then I'm the doctor or the doctor's office this week is supposed to work on those referrals for the other two doctors that Ryan needs to go see um just so that we have a baseline of where he's at when it comes to the Gorlin syndrome so um you know, hopefully I could spread all that out so it doesn't feel like madness and chaos. And then, because does life really ever, like, I only have two kids. Okay, so I'm going to get to stitching, I think. I say that, but I've been, like, lily gagging really bad. I'm going to try and get to stitching, and uh, I will check back in with y'all later this evening.
Good morning, everybody. It's check-in time. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to be real here. I spent probably the first half of the night distracted. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of stitching done until like right before midnight. And then, of course, there was after midnight. So, um, oh, but hold that because I did, but... I was split between two projects. I forgot. So, here is Mini Phantom of the Masquerade. Let me grab my folder. And, let me get you guys a little closer. So, I completed a square. This one. It's kind of hard to tell. And then started on this square. It looks all kinds of funky. I don't know. We'll see more tonight when I do some more of it. Uh, nothing wants to work right. I have a headache. Okay, so that's where that's at. It's looking excellent. Love working on it every day and seeing just even a little. I mean, it may not be a lot of progress each night. So, like tonight, it was 84 stitches. May not be a lot of progress each night, but after a couple nights, I'm like, hey, I'm noticing change. So it's just, it's cool. I like it. Um, so I got more to put in there. And then I've been working on Pretty Little London. So I'm not done working on Pretty Little London because it is my whip go this week. So I'll be working on it. See what I am talking about all night. All night. Um, so it's my, my whip go for this week. I'll be working on it every night between the time I pack up and the time I go home, which is now until then. So even though I'm going to show you progress, there will be more made tonight. So here is where I'm at. Um, this cloud is all new. I added to the bridge. I've worked on this right here. The uh, London Eye is completely finished. I was gonna, I'm, so I was trying to finish all the way down so that like this part was completed, completely complete. But uh, I would have had to move the Q snap down. So, eh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of skipping around for it. So I was doing like one strand of cloud and then one strand over here, and but now the cloud's done. It does have some marks for rain, but I don't know that I'm going to do that because it didn't rain at all while we were there. It was cloudy like that all the time, but it did not rain once. So I think because this is mine and my experience, I'm not going to put the rain. Um, So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm working on. I'm at... I have like a hundred stitches left to get to a thousand. Um, that's very annoying. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, I got about a thousand stitches left to get to a thousand. So if I shut up and get my stuff packed up, I should be able to finish that this morning. Um, and then I'll just be pulling it out each morning as a whip go piece. So I'm going to get back to work. Um, I will... Check in with y'all this evening, I believe. I haven't. We're going we're gonna to squeeze one more day on this vlog. So um, I will see y'all tonight. Happy stitching, everybody. Evening, everybody. It is uh, Monday, February 18th. Sometime in the evening. I'm lolly gagging again. I'm back home. I miss this sight. I don't like the I don't like the lighting at the other side. I actually have to work over there here. I might see one person tonight, maybe. Except you can always see my reflection of me in that that window. Um, once it gets a little darker, I'll I'll close it. Um, okay. So, ooh, wonder if we'll see a bobcat tonight. This is that site. So I'll try and actually get footage. Um, so. Um. This, 
I'm shooting for around 45 minutes. I may be a little longer on this one. Your time down below is going to show longer than that because at the end of this video, I'm going to include a couple videos from my son's birthday party. Um, you don't have to watch them, but they're good fun. Um, so, uh, I'm not sure if I told you all, I, we took eight kids between my husband and I. Uh, it was supposed to be four boys and four girls, so I was like, he's going to have the boys in the truck with him, I'm going to have the girls in the car with me, um, which more or less happened, except we had five girls and three boys, because my nephew decided not to go, and so an, another cousin took his place, but she was another girl, so anyway, um, it's what Ryan wanted. His best friend got to go, several of his cousins, my daughter and her friend. So, um, I have a little clip of the girls, um, rocking out to a song. I can't remember which song it was, but as soon as it came on, they all started belting it in the back seat and I just had to get a video of it. So, um, oh, in the front seat, uh, my niece, she doesn't really get into it, but she sings a little bit. So, um... There's that, and then some of them actually jumping and playing. So that'll be added on to the end. Um, I did not get the last hundred stitches done this morning. Literally, I'm like 20 away, but I had to go. So um, they have released the new week, but I'm wondering if they released it early because I was thinking last week it was on Tuesday. I don't know. I've done the work for the thousand stitches. I'm going to post a picture. Like I said, it's not a vital thing for me. And, and write down this week's and get started on it. Um, since I'm not doing bingo and um, I'll just try and whatever whip I pull, make it fit for what they've got going on this week. If I can't make it, I can't make it. No biggie. Um, I am going to finish up those last stitches on Pretty Little London tonight. Then I'm going to do Mini Phantom of the Masquerade and then I'm going to spin and then we'll pull out Pretty Little London after we pack up in the morning. I don't know who my relief is. I don't know. I don't have a car, so I have to sit here waiting for my husband. We'll see how this goes. It's going to be... So, oh man, I just... I'm so glad to have decent lighting. I can see my eyeballs. So, okay. Um, so, I guess I'm going to get... That was it. Did I tell you about the new homework? I'm not sure if I did. So there's four activities for homework this week. Um, they all have to do with the chamber being opened. We have to do something that pertains to how people got petrified. We have to do something that's a weapon to fight with. Um, I don't know. I hadn't really looked at it much because I was working on Pretty Little London last night. Um, so I'll figure out what I've got that can fit those. We're going to get back to stitching. We're going to focus. Um, the one thing about this site, um, despite how much I love it, is I don't have great service. So um, less distractions, right? Yeah. Got to get some stuff done. So uh, I will check it back in with y'all here in a little while. Hi. Welcome back. Okay, so... It's been like three hours-ish. Um, I did my work on Mini Phantom of the Masquerade. So I got this square done. So we're all in line there and just barely a start on this one. I did the park threads, but it only got me like three rows. So that's why it looks so small there. Um, so that's where that's at. Tomorrow night we finish up that square and then we come into these park threads and start our next, I can't, <laughs> diagonal. <laughs> it's opposite in my screen and I just can't seem to manage that. Um, I also worked on Pretty Little London to finish up those last, I literally had 22 stitches to do to get the thousand. So I did that. Took a picture, posted it, and then I moved it from the Q-snap to the hoop because um, when I'm working on it in the morning, it's easier to have something smaller so I have less stuff taking up room. Plus, it gives me a focus. I'm not looking at the whole picture. It's not, okay, what do I want to work on next out of the whole picture? It's this. So it 
get this house done, then get this house done, then move on, you know, and then I have to move it. So we'll see if that helps my focus a little bit with that one. Um, remember, I'll be working on it every morning. Okay, so I'm about to spin. So for some reason, I have two bars of service and um, absolutely no internet. Who knew? Luckily, I don't need internet to record a floss tube. Just upload it, which I can do when I get home today. Oh, man. I had some heartburn from... I just ate not too long ago. I'm already feeling hungry again. And I've got, like, the hiccups and the burning. and It's hell getting older. Um, we're going to spin. And then I will take what I spin. And hopefully it will have some kind of stitches that help me with either my homework or district... Three week two. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just stitch on it, whatever it is. I've got to edit it so that it doesn't spin something I've already worked on. Okie doke. Ready? Is that? Go. I know this would look a lot better if I just insert it, but that takes extra time and work and effort. And here we are at our house. Hold on. I've worked on that this month. Right? Let me make sure it was this month. Yep, yep, yep. It was the 13th. Okay, hold on. I've got to edit that one. Uh, now, nah, we'll just spin again. And then I'll take it off. I already worked on that one. Sorry. Try again. Didn't I work on our little fall too? Man, I didn't edit my will very well. See, I can't remember if that one was this month or the very end of last month. No, it was a... Look, there's... There's a reason I have all these trackers. I love them. Nope, I have not worked on it this month. I worked on it at the end of last month for District 2 Week 2, um, which means I have a pretty good idea that it's going to work for District 3 Week 2. So that's what I'm working on. I'm going to pull out I Love Fall. I'm going to be stitching in hand because I just put my hoop on that one. Oh, well. Um, if it gets to be too much, I'll spin again. Anyways, oh, let me go ahead and pull it out so y'all can see where it's at, and then I'll get started stitching on it. All my Flossmas ornaments are in this beautiful bag that I got from um, Janet Delicious Threads. It's so pretty. So pretty. I've got, um, I'm, I'm really thinking before too long, I'm going to start kidding up another 25 for this December. So it's going to need its own bag, which I don't have yet. So that'll happen whenever I have a bag for it. Because I was going through and I've been finding so many ornaments that, or ornament size, you know, like smallish, that will work. So then I'll just, what am I doing? Not flag of stars. I love fall. Okay. Um, so I'll go ahead and get those prepped. I love fall. So, um, I think there's, um, this is the red, which isn't like red, red, but it goes in apples, right? So it's got to be red. And then we've got more brown. I wrote this stuff down and I'm ready to tell y'all. I'm about to have to start getting March ready. I might do that tonight too. Okay. Um, year two, week four homework for School of Magical Stitches. Um, something skeleton related. Um, one of four things that cause petrified instead of killed. Uh, mirror, water, camera, ghost. Um, hmm. three had to restart 
or could be used as a weapon. Okay, I don't think it's going to fit for any of those. The District 3, Week 2, Building a Fire, 100 brown. I could do that. 50 red. I could do that. Um, build a shelter, 300 brown. I don't know if I have that much brown left. Um, 100 green or gray. It looks like there might be some green in this one. Stockpile weapons, 250 gray, 250 of any color. Uh, gather supplies, 500 of a color or image of a district resource, which is technology. I don't know if I have anything with technology. So we'll start working on these colors and um, see where we get. So I will check in with y'all here in a little bit. In the middle of the night, everybody. It is almost midnight. And that means it is almost January or February 19th. Do you know what the 19th is? Oh, wait. It is the year of starts for um, Stitch Mania. So every month on the 19th, because this year is 2019, so on the 19th, you can have an excuse to start something new. I know that we have excuses. We can find an excuse any day of the week, but this is the excuse I use for new starts. Is every 19th of the month, I'm a lot, I, I can start something new. Um, or I have more of a reason to start something new. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So here's what I got on. I love fall. Just got this border around here. That was like 76 red stitches. So I finished one of my district three week two things. Um, and so next I'm going to have to show you this on my iPad because I didn't keep the pattern with me. Come on, rotate. Maybe not. It this way. I am using um, what is that? Good Reader or Good Notes 4. Um, I have Good Notes 5, but I haven't started using it or playing with it yet. Um, eventually, I want all my new patterns in Good Notes instead of Good Reader because it syncs among all my devices. Um, actively um, without being like in good notes you can do that or in good reader you can do that um, but you have to force it you have to go in and click the sync button um, and you have to have downloaded it in the sync format which means if you didn't then you got to leave it and redownload it it's just pain this isn't like that so um I and I did do a tutorial of how all that works but I didn't like how it came out so I may try another one here shortly um, but anyways this is the pattern I'm starting, oh my goodness, this thing didn't want to rotate a few seconds ago. Now it wants to rotate. Now that I rotated it already, it's silly. Okay. This is the pattern I am starting. This was, the full kit was sent to me from Belinda, um, Aussie Stitcher. She's working on it as well. Um, so... I'm going to start this tonight. Let's see if we can get it good. Um, I have completely recharted this shield. Okay, so let me tell you a little story. And I know this video is already really long, and I'm sorry. Um, my father's ancestors were, um, they used to live in Scotland. And I don't know all the technical ins and outs. I'd have to look it up again. Um, but... Basically, some, they were common folk, um, and, um, a boy saved a royal using a dagger. The dagger was called a skein. And so then they, the royal, in appreciation, gave them a plot of land, a castle, a name, um, and a shield. And, um, so they were the Skeen clan and, um, and, and their shield has to do with these daggers. There's something else. There's wolves on the shield and I don't know why those are there. So charting this thing has been a beast. 
um, and I have no idea what it's going to look like when I actually stitch it up. I'm going to do the best I can. Um, but so, so this is my dad's ancestry. So he told me only recently actually that, uh, this all happened in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. Um, and Belinda had that, this map and I told her that's so funny that my dad's from there too. And so she sent it to me, the complete kit. So it had the floss and, um, what I do with it? Fabric. It came on a floss card like this. Now these are just papers, so I'm going to have to be kind of easy with them. But that, um, because I'm do changing the shield on it, I'm going to probably have to do that myself. Um, I'll get there. So I'm going to try and keep this a secret from my dad because I don't think he watches these. And, um, then present it to him when I'm finished, but I'm putting his shield on it, not the shield that comes with the pattern. Um, and so I've got it all ready to start. It is officially after midnight now. We've been talking for the last five minutes, so I can get started on this. So I'm going to do that, and um, I will check back in with y'all in a little bit. Okay, FYI, this video is longer than I really intended for it to be. Um, we'll probably be at about an hour once this is all said and done, I could probably go and edit some ums and uhs and staring out into space out, but I'm just not going to. So here's where I got tonight. This was my new start because today is the 19th of February, which is new starts for me. Uh, this is Aberdeenshire by Mearnscraft. I'm not sure. Mearns Mearnscraft. And that's where I got to. This um, pattern is not very nice. So this is 27 count even weave. Um, so I'm doing things over two. But like a lot of this is like halfway in the middle of like if you're going over two would only be over one. Like you go over two on this direction but only up one. It's, it's just complicated. It's a very complicated pattern. Um, but I've gotten used to it, um, and I think it's going to stitch up really fast, because this is, I mean, a good, good portion of it. Once I was looking, like, there's a lot of pages in the pattern, but there's a lot of overlap. So, like, you can almost see, this is the center, you can almost see that in every page. Almost. There's a couple pages where you can't, but, so it's not as big as you know, nine pages of pattern make it feel like it is. And then a lot of it is this back stitching. Um, the castles, the border, so far that's all the, the actual cross stitching I'm doing. So, um, I think it'll go pretty quickly. And I think it's pretty neat. Um, I haven't done anything quite like this before, so it's pretty neat. Um, but I got to a point, so I'm working on this castle here and um, I can't backstitch it yet because there's more castle in the next page but um, I was looking at the backstitch and it doesn't tell me what the backstitch for it is at least not in my scan I'm a little curious if my scan cut off part of the um, color chart so I'll check that when I get home today if I remember um, but I felt like I was at a decent stopping point um, so I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to pack up all my stuff and then work on Pretty Little London for the rest of the night. Um, I want to thank everybody that continues to watch me every week, even though, you know, sometimes these are hour long videos and sometimes they're 30 minutes. Um, and you never know what day to expect it. But I really feel like the vlogging works for me because I stitch on so many different things and then I don't have to remember to tell y'all things that I think about. I could just pop the video on and tell you. So I like it. I'm going to keep doing it at least for now even though I've decided to quit bingo for this for the rest of this go round. Um, thank you to anybody new. I have tons of new subscribers y'all. I'm getting to, I'm going to be at a thousand before I know it. Uh, I think I was at 9.55 earlier so I gotta start figuring out a giveaway for that. And, um, yeah. 
that's going to be it for this week. I hope y'all have a great stitching week and that you come back and see me next time. Bye-bye. Playing this game tonight. Just ours, no extras. Oh no!